hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video we discussed about the Hall effect transducer the basic concepts associated with uh, the Hall effect transducer and how it is used for the measurement of linear displacement so in this video we are going to discuss about another application of the Hall effect transducer which is the determination of a, the semiconductor type Suppose we have a specimen, an unknown specimen, and we don't know what type of semiconductor it is, whether it is a n-type semiconductor or p-type semiconductor. So that we can determine with the help of the Hall effect transducer. Okay, so let us uh, see how it is done. So we have already discussed about the basic concepts related to Hall effect transducer and uh, how it combines the effects of electric current magnetic field and electric field okay we have already discussed that so just to quickly go over it so the hall effect is a phenomena in which a current carrying specimen or a conductor carrying current which is placed in a magnetic field transverse magnetic field in which the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of flow of current as a result of this, an electric field is induced across the ends of the specimen which is perpendicular to the direction of flow of current and also the direction of the flow of magnetic, uh, the direction of the magnetic field. So the electric field, the magnetic field and the current, they are in three mutually perpendicular directions, okay, just uh, like the uh, x y and z axis the best way to understand this where let's say the direction of flow of current in the conductor is along x the direction of the magnetic field is along the z direction then the induced electric field will be along the y direction okay so in order to uh, get more information you please watch the previous video that i have explained in detail so here the Hall effect setup for the measurement uh, for the determination of the unknown semiconductor type it involves the unknown specimen uh, which will be carrying current which will be placed in the uh, magnetic field uh, the source of magnetic field which can be a permanent magnet or electromagnet and measuring electrodes to measure the electric potential okay now here the setup it involves this semiconductor bar which is this unknown specimen which is placed in the magnetic field of the uh, this permanent magnet okay and as a result of this this magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of flow of current this whole thing an electric potential will be induced across the ends of the specimen the semiconductor specimen so how we can determine the uh, type of what type of semiconductor is it is we know that uh, in n type semiconductor okay in n type semiconductors which is an extrinsic type of semiconductors the extrinsic semiconductors are of two types n type and p type which means they are uh, doped with impurities either a pentavalent or trivalent impurity so in n type semiconductors the majority charge carriers are electrons and the current flow is due to the flow of electrons and in p type semiconductors the majority charge carriers are holes and the current flow is due to the flow of holes okay so the direction of uh, flow of electrons and holes they're in opposite directions so this will affect the polarity of the voltage the induced voltage the polarity of the voltage will be opposite for both n type and p type semiconductors so by noticing the polarity we can determine whether it is an n type semiconductor or p type semiconductor so I've already uh, posted a video related to semiconductor basics. Okay, uh, there I've posted around three or four videos or five videos, I think. So you please check out that. There I've discussed about the n-type and p-type semiconductor fabrication and all the 
basic properties associated with them so you please check out those videos so how is this uh, whole uh, setup implemented so for the determination of the unknown specimen type semiconductor type suppose we have an n-type semiconductor placed in the magnetic field perpendicular in the direction of flow of current through this semiconductor is perpendicular to the magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet so because of that an electric potential will be induced across the ends of this n-type semiconductor let's say with this polarity plus and minus okay uh, towards the uh, okay up it is plus and bottom it is minus this polarity this is the polarity now if we connect a p-type specimen here the polarity will be reversed okay here at up it is minus and bottom it is plus so the polarity is reversed so for n type it is plus minus and for p type it is minus plus because the direction of flow of current in n type which is because of the electrons which are the majority charge carriers is opposite to that of the p type in which the majority charge carriers are holes okay so because of this the polarity of the voltage the induced voltage polarity also is opposite okay it is opposite for both n type and p type semiconductor so by noticing the polarity of this induced voltage we can determine whether it is a p type or a n type semiconductor okay now the hall voltage expression we have already discussed it in the earlier video the hall voltage expression is given by v subscript h is equal to r subscript h capital b capital i by t here vh is the hall voltage induced hall voltage rh is the hall coefficient capital b is the magnetic field uh, strength okay i is the current flowing through the semiconductor and b is the width of the semiconductor okay this this uh, <clears throat> you can call it uh, it is in three dimensions so it is very difficult to visualize okay if you look at this okay this this is the d is the thickness of the specimen and b is the width of the specimen okay so that is uh, what the hall effect transducer for the measurement of uh, the or the determination of the semiconductor type how it works okay so you basically connect the semiconductor the unknown semiconductor to the hall effect setup place it in the magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of flow of current and the magnetic field which will be in mutually perpendicular directions and because of that a electric potential will be induced across the ends which will be also in mutually perpendicular direction but the polarity will be opposite for both n type and p type semiconductors it will be opposite for n type and p type and by noticing the polarity we will get to know whether it is a n type or p type semiconductors okay so all it matters here is the polarity the polarity of the electric potential across the ends of the semiconductors okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much